Yes people, myself TS, welcome back to another No Filter TS. Now today I want to talk about the video that was going around last week. Um, it was in regards to um, the, the mother throwing the, the, her child's money off of a balcony, you know. Um, obviously from the snippet of the footage, you, you, you're deeming that. Um, obviously the mum has found that money um, being from, you know, illegal activities and, you know, you know, she's not having that within her house and she's thrown off the balcony now. There's a couple, in my essence, in, in my opinion, red flags in that already. Firstly, whoever's recording that, if that's meant to be your sibling or your friend, they don't care about you. So from that video has gone now and many people have seen it, I hope you've cut that person off. That's the first thing. Second thing is um, from the parent's perspective. Obviously, I'm a parent now. My kids aren't of... Um, you know, a teenage age or, you know, late teenage, or early 20s where these sort of, they could be caught up in these sort of things. Um, and, you know, I, I would have to take action on it. But the way I look at it is, is you know, if the child is up to any sort of, you know, illegal activities, obviously you don't want that around you, you don't want that in your household, which, you know, you're standing your ground and you're, you're making a standpoint for it, which I, I agree with. But, and you know, I can't fully judge the situation because all we've seen is a snippet of it. But in my opinion, um, whether your child wants to have the conversation with you or not is a tough one. But I think you have to speak to your child to so like, where has this money come from? Because it's all good. Oh yeah, I'm throwing this money off the balcony and whatnot. But truth be told, your son could be uh, sad to say, but he could be selling drugs for someone who's, you know, a serious character and he's not someone to be messed with. And now when it comes up and he's like, oh, there's money short, now he's going to have to do other stuff to pay off all that money. And, you know, you, you've put, you've, although you think you're helping your son, you've actually put him in a worse situation. So, um, I, obviously, I, I agree with the parent if obviously she's trying to, you know, um, make a stance and show like, no, nah, you know, you know, you know, illegal activities will be done within my household. Like, you won't be living here and no pr proceeds of crime will be within my household. And I fully understand that. But in situations like that, you need to speak to your child or, you know, and even if you can't, you need to get someone, whether it's another adult or so, to speak to your child to say, oh, what's the situation in regards to this? Because I don't know how much, how much money it was, but say... Um, the, there's a grand you find in the shoe box or whatever it is and now you start throwing money off the balcony and it's now down to £400 there's £600 that needs to be accumulated for if that money's not your son's and he owes it to someone else or it's someone else's money who's holding it for them he now owes that person that amount of money which you don't ha have to give to them because you've thrown it off the balcony which don't help at all so for me given my thoughts on it you know, I definitely think that in that situation, you need to speak to your child, um, try and an intervention with them. Um, obviously, it's tough, you know, when your uh, kid's a teenager, early 20s, obviously they want to, you know, everyone thinks they're grown, they want to rebel, do their own thing. Um, and I understand that, I, I've been through that myself, but I haven't been in a situation like this in regards to the whole money thing, but looking at it and knowing what it can be like, you know, on on the streets and or caught in these sort of situations or earn certain people money you've got to find out whose money that is first and you know once you do along with your child you figure out a plan on on you know what happens maybe it's like okay fine you give this person this money but from now on nothing will be tolerated within this household and even if it's a thing where you put the threat of like well if you bring in a decent money or anything in this household again and I find it I'm throwing it at least it puts that, um, you know, kind of fear into your child, you know, to hopefully not do it again. But, you know, people can get caught and, and stuck out here. But who knows what the situation is. But hopefully um, the individual who, you see know, money was getting thrown off the balcony, hopefully he's cool. Um, whoever's recording it, you're a disgrace. You should be ashamed of yourself. And, yeah, hopefully um, that person's just not in anything too serious. But, yeah, that's my thoughts on it all. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.